Edgar, there's one important lesson we must learn from the history we've all been through and the history we've read about, and that is simply this. Fear is a great motivator. That if you can get people to live in fear, then you can sell them any damn thing that you want. And so basically, what the whole idea is, is when we run out of one fear that has been pushing people in one direction, the organizations, the industries that are behind all this media and behind selling us all their products and ideas will come up with another fear, no matter which one it is. Sometimes it's a fear of the environment we live in. We talk about the water is bad, the air is bad, and everybody starts getting nervous about that. Then we talk about the bacteria and the viruses that are bad and the flu that comes around every year. And then we start talking about, oh my God, the radiation from Japan is going to you know, kill us all. Every time we start to get a little calm down, down, then we are faced with another new fear to take our minds off the immediacy of what's going on and in a moment of fear, very important as I describe in the lecture, that neural functions change in fear. Not only we change the chemistry of our body, but the stress hormones change the operation of the brain. That when we're in fear, the stress hormones squeeze the blood vessels shut in the forebrain, which is conscious reasoning and logic thinking and forces the blood as a result of closing down the blood vessels in the front, forces the blood to the hindbrain, where we operate from reactive behavior, which is not thinking at all, it's just stimulus response. So the nature is, as we become more uh, engaged in fear, we become less intelligent, and at that moment more open to the resolutions provided by industry, who were selling the fear in the first place. So basically the issue is, I don't know what the exact next fear is. Maybe aliens are gonna be here. They're selling that one as well. Whatever you wanna talk about, they will find one, they will sell it, and the mass of the population will buy it. And as a result, they will be further disempowered and more power will be channeled in to the few that are making the decisions for the masses.